Hello YouTube, this is the Atlanta Puzzler here uh, with part 4 on how to design and 3D print your twisty puzzles on, on shape. So in the previous parts we um, designed a cube and a slicing profile and diced the cube into smaller individual parts and finally we deleted all unneeded files, uh, unneeded parts, I'm sorry. And what we ended up with is uh, one of each unique piece, uh, one edge and one corner and one uh, center. Of course, this is uh, nowhere ready to be printed, um, but we're going to work on each piece individually and um, show you guys how, um, how I process them before I print them. So I'm going to hide the center and the edge and just keep uh, the corner. And um, the first thing I like to do is to, sorry, let me, my computer is running a little slow. Um, click on this uh, icon, fill it, and press on it once, and it says entities to fill it. Now, filleting becomes, it's a matter of taste. I'm going to show you one idea that I do, and, and then you can make your own, or you can do the same. It's up to you, but... Um, five millimeters that's a large fillet right it's it's a large curve but uh, I think that's what they call Florian cut but uh, click on this the, the three edges here that coincide with the three points on the base click on this and you see it chamfered the edge or it uh, filleted the edge for you click on this and click on this and now you'll see that um, it, it rounded the edges for you. That makes sense, so I'll do okay. Um, here, let's look at it. Take a better look. Looks better than before, and this will help uh, your cube not have pointy edges, so it'll, it'll be smoother and faster. Okay, so let's double click on the fillet again to go back into the menu, and while I'm editing this, I'm gonna hide the corner and open the center. And let's drag here again and um, with the five millimeters, I'm going to do this edge, this edge, and this edge. I think I can just click on the surface. But anyways, I think this looks nice. And I'm going to hide the center and show the edge. And finally, for the edge, um, at the bottom towards where the uh, torpedo parts are, I'm going to click on this and this. And symmetrically I'm gonna click on this edge and this edge and that should complete all our large fillets I'm gonna say fillet large edges I'm gonna do okay um, and let me show the end result here sorry let me zoom out for a moment okay um, that's one step towards uh, cleaning up the parts. You see, uh, they look rounded and they look better. You might not prefer that look, that's fine. It's basically what I did for this cube here. It's, you know, these are five millimeters each. Okay, now click on the fillet again. And instead of five, now we're going to make it much smaller. Let's do one millimeter. And entities to fillet. Let's uh, hide the center and the edge. and. While we're in the corner, now we're going to click on the outermost edges. Or actually, let me try to click on the whole surface and see. It's processing. There you go. Okay. I clicked on the three outer surfaces, which is good. And then I like to fill it these tiny edges. And let me try the bottom. Okay, perfect. And um, it's hard to see. I'll zoom in for you. There's these edges uh, around the stem. They're pretty sharp, and you don't want them catching. Um, so that, let me press OK, and let me show you. It looks so much better now. It looks like, actually, like a real speed cube part. Um, we 
we're still fine-tuned some parts of it so let me double click on the fillet again and let me hide the corner let's do the center okay at the outer surface um, I don't think it'll uh, let you fill it this but you can fill it the corners or the edges okay and um, turn around you see the corners here are pretty sharp so I like to fill it this entire base Let's see if it'll let me it won't let me fill it the bottom, bottom base okay um, I think this is good for the center I'm gonna hide it show me the edge and let me zoom out I'll do this surface and the surface see if we can do the torpedo um, sometimes it fails to fill at some parts because they're very small very fine okay so this one it didn't um, I like to click on this edge this edge and also this Okay, I missed an edge earlier, and then this side as well. I'm gonna do this side face. Hmm, it didn't like it. Okay, let me try. Okay, it doesn't like this bottom one. Okay, um, so I'm just I'm trying to fill it as many parts as it'll let me. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think there's, I'm sure there's a science behind this, but uh, I usually try to smoothen any sharp pointy edges. I mean, I see one, I try to fill it, it and if it won't let me, I'll, I'll try to fill it what's around it, and so on. And as you print them and you notice uh, certain areas are catching, you can, um, you can fill it more next time or something. So I'll press OK finally and show the other parts. Okay, so much better. Finally, as final as far as felleting goes, let me call this fellet medium edges. Let's do one more fellet, and I'll, I'll I'll make this half a millimeter. And you probably don't need to do this, um, but why not? I mean, um, this is half of um, the felt we used earlier. I try to do the finer surfaces like this base here. Um, it's going to make it look much nicer, and I'll show you. You'll see how the base now looks before and after. I'm trying to zoom in so that you get to see, um, but then it's making it difficult to uh, move it around. Okay. See if it'll do this space. Perfect. Okay, I think this piece is done. And let me show you now what we ended up with. You'll see now how we um, how we truly smoothened out everything. This looks pretty nice. Okay. Let me hide the corner and show the center and double click on this fillet here okay let me zoom in a little bit let's see if it'll let me do this okay perfect and the other surface i wanted to do is this perfect i think we're done and i'll show you um i basically made these inner pieces and these outer pieces uh, i think this is nice and let's finally do the edge. The edge is usually the trickiest one because it has the most details with the um, with the torpedoes or whatever. So I'm gonna click at the at the bottom here, and that worked. Let's try this. Nope. 
if uh, if it turns red just click it again and it'll undo it uh, let's see this edge okay perfect okay I'm just gonna do these and the other one the problem um, with edges sometimes they won't let me fill it these inner tracks uh, this area here uh, so I'll undo it but I think I can, I think you get the gist of um, what I'm trying to do here see it turned red and I let me see okay I think I undid something okay this one it's making all these Ajax calls and it's just slow okay I'll, I'll call I'll make it fillet small edges okay finally we're done with the filleting piece okay perfect so we have the three pieces here um, hey, let me um, I think I'm gonna stop the video here I'll figure out what's going on with my Chrome or my internet whatever and um, you can play around with filleting and stuff and um, we'll talk about tensioning the pieces and I'll show you guys how to create the core and the stem of the center piece and uh, how to create a center cap and drill a hole in it and all that um, but yeah we're, we're getting there but we're uh, we still have uh, a few more parts to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll um, look forward to see you in the next part. Thank you.